So a year ago in Whitby, we had 390 new listings come to market, and that is across all home types. So that's condos, semis, towns, links, detached, everything. 263 sales through the month of February 21 and 147 active listings, which carried over into uh, March 2021. January, we had 171 new listings come to market, 117 sales through the month, 51 active listings, which carried over into um, to February 22. February, big upswing in the amount of listings that came to market, and this is GTA wide, uh, 214 sales. So you're looking double literally the amount of sales um, and what about 30 30 percent more listings uh, active listings are essentially what didn't sell um, cancellations relists um, things like that and they carried over into uh, we had 98 carry over into February sorry March 22 um, looking at the money 996 thousand was the average sale price across all home types a year ago in Whitby million two hundred seventy eight thousand in January 22 and currently trending at a million three hundred sixty seven thousand the SNLR um, the sales to new listings ratio, also known as the absorption rate, tells us um, out of the homes coming on the market each month, what is the percentage of them that are actually selling? So 67.4% of the homes uh, that came on the market in February 21 sold, 684 in January 22, currently trending at 71.8. So this is something to pay attention to. Um, Basically, if we're talking about what's a what's a buyer's market, what's a seller's market, uh, anything under 50% um, would be indicative of a buyer's market. So that's telling us there is more demand than there is supply. Between 50 and 60% is a balanced market, so there's enough supply to meet the demand. Anything over 60%, um, we're looking at more uh, demand than there is supply. So then you're uh, you're talking about a seller's market there. So certainly though, like last month we were hovering in the in the 68. But those numbers, if you remember back to my my December numbers, those these absorption rates were like 120 percent. Um, in some cases 140. So you know something to pay attention to. We've had quite a drop, and the reason we're seeing quite a drop is because the absorption rates calculated by looking at new listings divided by sales. So we're just seeing many more listings come to market, but we're also seeing the sales ramp up um, a little bit but there's also more listings hanging around so this is something that for for buyers you definitely want to pay attention to and for sellers you do as well I mean I no one can no one has a crystal ball for this stuff to really predict how the market's gonna go but for a seller you're going to want to pay attention to this and you're going to want to pay attention to the months of inventory. So getting to the months of inventory, it tells us that um, if no other homes came on the market after today at the current rate of buying or the current rate of consumption, uh, how long would it take to completely zero out and deplete the inventory? So a year ago, 0 0.6, 0 0.4 in January, so the market leaning out, uh, currently trending at 0.5. So we're seeing a bit of a climb in that inventory, um, which is not untypical for the um, for the time of year. Um, sale price to list price ratio. We are uh, home selling at 115.7% of ask a year ago, 131.4% uh, in January 22, and currently trending at 130. Days on market to get a home sold, six in February 21, five in January 22, and February 22, we're also looking at six. So if you have any questions about how this information would pertain to your house um, or you just want to connect on a couple market questions, feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy.